Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're not doing the top 5 beginner filmmaker thing imagery. That's happening next week. But today we're doing a discussion video because Batman vs Superman just came out. And no, as you see in the thumbnail and the title, it's not about Batman vs Superman, but about its main competitor, Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War comes out in May this year. There's been a lot of questions going about since Batman vs Superman wasn't exactly the savory thing we were promised. People are wondering now, could Captain America Civil War suck? People are making videos, their articles saying Captain America 3 could maybe be the downfall of Marvel's empire of superhero films. And my answer is no. I don't think Captain America Civil War could suck at all. Want to find out why? Well, stay tuned. <laughs> Civil War is set to release in May. It sets out to do the Civil War storyline, which is a very, very extensive line, including almost all of the Avengers. A lot of comic book fans love the storyline. There are a lot of little, they worries that they might screw this one up. So I'm gonna give you my top four reasons for why Captain America Civil War could definitely never suck at all. Number one, costing. Now, if you look at the Marvel films since the big dawn of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is Iron Man 1, They've been casting 100% perfect. Can you imagine anyone else playing Tony Stark other than Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, I can't. What about Chris Evans playing Captain America? That was perfect. Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. Mark Ruffalo playing the Hulk, which is one of the hardest characters to portray. Eric Banner failed. Edward Norton did a significantly better job, but still didn't hit it. Hit it on the nose. Mark Ruffalo comes along, being cast by the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he does a brilliant job being the best Hulk we've ever seen. Well, at least in my opinion. My first point is costing, nonetheless. Because with a perfect cast of superheroes that are played perfectly by those actors and that are fit and made them their own after how many movies, what can really go wrong? Number two is plans. Now we know that Marvel has been planning the Avengers movie all the way through Iron Man 1, Captain America 1, Thor 1, all those movies. They've been planning to set up the Avengers. Even at the end of the Incredible Hulk movie with Edward Norton, there was a little tidbit. Marvel is literally planning these things out so far that they're really going to end in 2019. So think about that. From, I don't know when Iron Man 1 came out, but from then, back in the early 2000s, all the way to 2018, they've been planning this. So the fact that they can mess up in Civil War, which is literally one of the turning points of their entire series of movies, is highly unlikely. Number three is directors. Now, Anthony and Joe Russo had set on to direct Captain America The Winter Soldier, which is praised as basically one of the best Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Some people even put it up there before Iron Man 1, which is in my opinion, the best one. So the fact that they've already established the Captain America character and revitalized him after the first one, we know that they're pretty well accustomed to Captain America now. They're good at making human stories as I've seen a behind the scenes feature where they say they don't make superhero films with human elements, they make human films with superhero elements. So the fact that they are on to direct Civil War and the fact that Marvel trusts, trusts them so much that they are willing to bestow upon them Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and 2 to direct in 2018 and 2019 tells me a lot. The only person Marvel has ever trusted with Avengers is Joss Whedon and he made number one, he thrived in that one, he made number two and made a good film but it broke him heavily. So the fact that Marvel trusts Anthony and Joe Russo to direct the Avengers and of course Captain America Civil War tells me that they have full faith in their ability. And my last point, my fourth and final point ties into the previous point. Now, Marvel is really good at making believable stories. When you watch Iron Man 1, and I just rewatched it yesterday, you really believe that a man can make a suit out of aluminium alloys and fly around and shoot shit with his hands. I believe it. So there you have it, my reasons for why Captain America Civil War will definitely not suck. Now, disclaimer, I am not a Marvel fanboy. These are just my reasons inside my heart. I mean, look, I'm wearing a Batman t-shirt. I clearly have a heart in DC. And after Batman vs Superman, I just got reminded of what Marvel has done. DC has pulled off two films in their DC Cinematic Universe. Man of Steel, which in my opinion was okay. Batman vs Superman, which was again, okay. They have failed to make really good, excellent, brilliant films like Marvel has. Marvel made you believe that a man can shrink down to the size of an ant and be a superhero. They even got Michael Douglas. What more do you want? 
So anyway guys, there you have it. My reasons for why Captain America Civil War will not suck. Not could suck. Will not. Um, so tell me what are your thoughts. Leave it in the comments down below. Don't start fights, but tell us your opinion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can hit me up on these two, which is my Twitter and my Instagram. You can subscribe down below and you can also like and share the video. Please guys do that. It helps a lot. It really makes me warm in the Batman heart. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I sincerely hope you enjoy your day as well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.